So welcome, in this episode we'll create a project from scratch, importing Fusion and some of the assets for the game, as I am a pretty bad artist. So let's begin by actually creating a new project. I'm currently using this version of Unity, so I'm gonna choose 2D and I'm gonna call it as Fusion Tutorial and click Create. So in the meanwhile we can actually download the SDK, I'm gonna put the link down below but you can also do Fusion SDK Download. It's gonna be the first one and I'm pretty sure you need to sign in in order to actually download this. So just make sure to create an account if you don't have one already. So as you can see, this is the current version I'm gonna download. Now Fusion is obviously gonna get a lot of updates and most likely this one will be different on your side. But even then, the core stuff and the principles definitely stay the same. So in order to actually download it, you can actually click on this one. And if you'll see down below, we have requirements. The first one is to actually have Unity of this version or above, which most likely you are already using. Making sure that the asset serialization is set to be text. We are gonna check that later and making sure that we have this package as well. So we can now open the project and I'm gonna import this package by just dragging it into the assets and voila this is the fusion plugin. You've got a folder called fusion so let's hit import. Now once you actually finished importing and compiling you'll see this little window. If you actually can see it you can go ahead and click on fusion and then fusion hub. This is just a friendly editor window telling us that we need to implement a fusion app ID. So let's open the photon dashboard. And yet again, make sure to be signed in with your account. And as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff here, Fusion Tutorial, Banana and so on. So let me show you how to create one. It's fairly easy. Create a new app. This is going to be a multiplayer game. And the SDK we are using is going to be Fusion. Application name, give it as some kind of a name. It's going to be Fusion Tutorial V3 at the moment. And some kind of a description if you want, a URL and so on. Clicking on Create. And you'll see now that we have an app ID. This is something that you obviously don't want to share with anybody in the case that you are publishing your game to production. So just make sure to not share it with anybody. I'm going to copy this, go back to Unity, and now just paste it in and hit enter. And you'll see this little check mark. Now, before we actually go and view the settings, let's make sure that the project is set to be text. So I'm going to go to edit, project settings. And inside of editor, you should see right here that it should be set to false text. So as you can see, this is the default, so it's fine. And we can also confirm we have this package by going into window, package manager. And you'll see right here, mono something, I don't know how to pronounce. So pretty cool, we have everything set up. So we can go into Fusion right here, go and open the network project config. It will go and show you the scriptable object called network project config. If you open it inside, you'll see a bunch of settings here and we want to change a few. So first of all, it is important to note that by each variable you have this little mark where you can see a small description on it. And I'll also put a link down below that explains about the scriptable object even further. So as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff here. There are two important stuff that we mainly want to change. is the physics engine. We are going to be making a 2D game. I'm going to change it to physics 2D. And the server physics mode, I want to change it from server only to client prediction, as in the future we will be doing client prediction. Pretty cool, you can go ahead and click on apply for now, and you'll see it's gonna take a few seconds to compile. And if you open the list right here called prefabs, you'll see a bunch of prefabs assets. This is from the demo you get, as you can see inside of prototyping. It is not really necessary to have them here, so I'm just gonna mark all of them by holding shift and just delete it from the project. This is again not really necessary, just for our own convenience. 